I could be wrong. I could be wrong. What I'm saying is, these extremist groups, these terrorist groups, some of them are maniacs. The reason they're doing this is not because, oh, I don't like Britain. I don't like the summer. I don't like the well, hot I don't weather. Like it either. I don't I like the hot, no, don't uh, like you know, either. the winter here, or the summer well, here, the rain here. Is so this what you really oh, think? Yeah. These extremists, they are giving us this excuse. I'm sure you know what their justification of their terrorist activities are, right? They're not just simply saying, you know what, I don't like the British food because I don't like, ke I like kebabs rather than um, burgers. Fish and chips. Is that fish and chips? Is this, do you think this is what the excuse is? No. So, so instead of me telling you, okay, let's understand this. Why are these extremist groups doing these extremist activities? Yeah. Well, I, I think they truly hate what the Western group stands for. What of the West do they hate? Um, the question should be who created them in the first place. We, we will establish this. You will, will come. What of the West do they hate? Just the infidelity and the sexual immorality and all the different things in the West that you see all the time. That, uh, Is this what they say? No. That's you ask me what I think. That's what not, I what but I that answer is not really and sufficient in this context. They because want to bring... Yeah? Um, they want to bring caliphate or they want to bring By killing um, people with their cars in, in, in Westminster? This is how you bring caliphate? Is that what they say? I think they want to bring... Now I need to understand want this what, right what you understand of them. So you have now these people who hate the West and you're saying they don't like your immoralities. Is this the reason they're giving? Because you're immoral, the West is immoral, we want a caliphate in Westminster? Maybe. You tell Why me. do you say maybe? I would like to hear that you have gone through and say, look, I'm going to research this subject. I'm going to see what these people, these terrorists are saying, you know, for what, it, what it's worth. You haven't done that, have you? I'm asking you. No. Why do you ask me? That's the problem, number one. You're asking me, because do you think I am a supporter of ISIS? That you're asking me these questions, I'm going to give you the answer. You need to go and... I you're not, but... No, you need to go and go to the media outlets or media stations of ISIS or any of the extremist groups and interact with them or find from the literature why they're doing this. You haven't done that. And this is representing of majority of the people in the West, like yourself, because you haven't really understood why they're doing this. Have you heard of the word? Can on a more practical level, you ask for what sources you might consult. So I would recommend Al Jazeera, and not because it's the font of all knowledge, but it's better than Fox or CNN a lot. Uh, so Al Jazeera, but also lots of other sources as well. There's a, 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 a Islamic news site uh, based in London, I think, called Five Pillars. The, left, the number five plus pillar in letters. I'd recommend what well, that is another possible option. But the thing is to read widely and read different views rather than just go to one news source. And be, be informed. What, what, you watch Fox. I mean, you know, but don't let that be your only source of news. I'm Balance it. Out. I do listen to Al Jazeera. Right. I get good. Over that well, that's good. Yeah. Well, watch Russian uh, Russia to. Uh, uh, RT, I listen to RT. Um, I listen to all of them. Get, get a balance or get a, diver, a, a, a diverse diet of news, and then you'll be able to think. Well, actually, I, I can understand this issue better now that I've, you know. So Give them the kind of example of the mayor recommend. of London. How but I, I come, back, come back to Iraq. Uh, I've not been to Iraq, but I understand that before Iraq was invaded uh, illegally, I think by your government and my government, the US and British government. It had a government in Iraq, it had a health system, it had a modern education system. Yes, Saddam Hussein, Saddam Hussein was a tyrant, I don't deny that. But now it's a basket case. Now there's been a civil war, there's been hundreds of thousands of people who have been killed. It's, it's, a, it's a failed state. And out of that came something that didn't exist before, terrorism. Out, um, uh, out, um, uh, there were no terrorist groups in Iraq. Uh, uh, Saddam Hussein didn't exist there, Al-Qaeda wasn't there despite what your government said. And now we have, out of this chaos uh, uh, of, of a failed state, we have this Sunni terror organization that's arisen. So I partly lay the blame, actually, for ISIS, indirectly, but still partly there, but at the feet of Tony Blair, at the feet of George Bush, at the feet of the Americans. Do you agree? I don't yeah? disagree. So, so, so when you say, but what are Muslims doing do about terrorism? No, hang on, let me just finish. When you say, what are the Muslims doing about terrorism? I would say to, to, to you, as a, I'm fairly uh, representing everything, sure. um, you know, I would, I would say to you, 
why, why is your government creating the conditions by destroying societies, reducing them back to the Stone Age, barbarizing them and killing hundreds of thousands of, uh, in a war that was uh, a lie. It, it was done for weapons of mass destruction, which everyone on the planet knows, apart from George Bush, doesn't exist. You know, it's based on a lie as well. We were sold a lie. It was a terrible catastrophe. It destroyed the country. And out of this has come the whirlwind. And we're surprised and shocked. And who gets the blame? Muslims. And they say, excuse me. Excuse me. No way. So I think we need to look at this. The social, economic and political context of invasions, of, of decimations of society, of killings of hundreds of thousands of people as the historical political context for the rise of ISIS, rather than as some kind of abstract ideology that doesn't like a sexual immorality in the West. As if that's, that's not what ISIS is about. They actually, they actually serve a good function in their own eyes in protecting against Shia death squads. Uh, that, that, that's why people are in people in Mosul and other countries have actually welcomed ISIS to protect them from the Shias who, who uh, uh, operate death squads that kill them as well. So there's kind of warfare going on there. So it's much more complicated uh, than what are you Muslims doing about terrorism? What are you Americans doing about not creating the conditions where terrorism comes out like a, an evil and, phoenix? And, and that was and, and essentially and my forgive point. Forgive me if that's the way my approach was. No, I'm not blaming you I'm trying to say. I'm using you as a whipping boy. We've got a problem here. What are the Muslims doing about it? No, yeah. not by. I totally agree with the things you said, but I think that because you mentioned that, that Iraq had a, a very strong infrastructure. How do you say? I think the goal was. I totally agree. In 2020 hindsight, that it was wrong. We just plucked out Saddam Hussein from yeah. there. Everything will work good, and you will have. have just pressed a button, and then I, I, that's I it. The end of Saddam Hussein. Things yeah. aren't that simple. They didn't simple, do that. Right? They, they actually this told the entire they, Iraqi yeah. army yeah. was disbanded. Do you remember yeah. this? This is one of the problems. Yeah. It wasn't just yeah. one individual. They actually removed the upper echelon of the state. They removed the army and the higher command. And do you know the backbone? I'm told of ISIS is Iraqi officers. Yes. Iraqi officers of Saddam Hussein's that, yeah. army. Iraqis. So, so they, they, they so. There's a liberation there. So it wasn't just an individual, they actually removed and destabilized a whole society and then which was caught up in chaos and out of this was born multiple terrorist organizations. And there were, I mean, early on when America was occupying, a lot of these so-called terrorists were the people who were seeking to free their country from the occupiers. Who were the occupiers? The British and the Americans. And so they were, they were motivated by patriotic uh, instincts, arguably, rather than hatred for Western sexual immorality. They wanted them out of their country. It's the same with the Taliban in Afghanistan. Not people are motivated. They want, they want the foreigners out of their country. And if we were Afghans, whose side would we be on? Would we just naturally go with Americans or would we want the people of our country to rule our country? You brought up in your conversation, you brought up George Bush and you brought up Donald Trump. Yeah. Where does Obama fit in this? <laughs> well, he, do you think he was, he, he, he was, he was Bush. completely clean? No, no, he was, no, 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 no. He was Bush I mean, too. More drone he was son of Bush. Yeah. Son of Bush. Yeah. He was son of Bush. Son of a Bush. No. Was, he was son of Bush. Bush. No, no. Is he was Bush. Bush Mark II. He continued yeah. the legacy. Yes, you remember, I think he was he really... Expanded he expanded it. He expanded I think he was really well-intentioned. He wanted to close. He promised to close Guantanamo Bay. You know, within days again. You know, eight years later, no, it's still open uh, at the very end of his presidency. He failed on his own. He was given the Nobel Peace Prize. Do you remember that? Before he got elected. He was elected. given the Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> the day after he got elected, he got a Nobel Peace Prize for doing yeah. nothing. No, I know. I know. It's extraordinary. Yeah. Well, he got it, but the Nobel Peace Prize for he's not for not honest. being George he's, Bush. He's, he's that's, how, that's why he got it. That I believe that the Republicans stopped him doing his work. Okay. Well, he. Oh, well, 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 I'm not anyway, talking to blame game. Anyway, returning to your original question, why he said I felt that this was a wrong question. It's not what Muslims should. Do Muslims have already what should have we done? All do as much what should as you all do? I think the responsibility you have to take some responsibility yeah. with you I in your hands with you. and say, look. And I agree. The reason why, as my brother have expounded anything, and explained, and created huge division. No, between but as, the as, as we have now realized, the, the rise of these terrorist organizations yes. is is partly and mainly to do with this political situation, yes. the devastation created by 
our governments, yeah, our respective countries. So you should not allow this to happen. And exactly. since this is happening, you should, you know, stop invading Muslim countries. Be a great stop. start for tomorrow. Thank, Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> That's my frustration. Is no, we're, we're, I'm just as frustrated. Don't take this personally. You're just, so you're just a guru. Yeah, yeah. We're not. I'm not blaming you personally. The solution, I think, we should stop invading Muslim countries. Islam terrorists. That generates blowback. Jihad, all of that. All these quotations they have to take care of. Call them terrorists. Call them criminal. Call them whatever you like. At least. Okay. Just take you're going to get blowback. You're going to get blowback from these countries. If you invade countries and music, someone's going to oh, take yeah, up and, blow, and, and blow up something here. It, it's, it's cause and effect. It's common sense. Yeah. Someone's so, going to get pissed off and, and come back here. So we understood. The things I've heard we understood. Trump, though, is he doesn't. Yeah. I know he said that. But he said, it's no, interesting, I, I though, the way how this conversation became. Than, yeah. than Obama did. <laughs> I, I agree. No, I, he's did you notice one thing? I agree. It's interesting how this conversation becomes a political conversation. But. Out of this, we learned something, right? Yes, In this did. discussion. No, but can I come back to you? Said you're a Jew. No, 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 no. I did not say. What did you say? You're a Jew? Oh, no, you didn't say you're a Jew no, because I'm a Christian. you're a Christian. I'm a Christian. Okay. So as a Christian, yes. what's stopping you from accepting Prophet Muhammad? What's stopping? Well, because of, because of who I believe Jesus Christ is. That's what our whole conversation was. Yeah. I truly believe that Jesus Christ <laughs> is is God first. Is this what he I taught? In one God. I believe that, that, that I believe in the Trinity. I know it's hard to explain. It's kind of like why is it hard to explain? Because it's it's the mystery of God. It's are you I mean, saying God communicated something about Him yeah. that shouldn't have, have been communicated? Relationship with Jesus Christ. May I, may I just I totally believe? That may I just try to understand something? Yes. You see, when the Creator communicates with the creation, it's for a reason, right? For a reason. There are many things about the Creator that we will never comprehend with our finite mind. Like the Trinity. Let's yes. understand this. Many things. Because God is infinitely greater than us, right? As a finite human being, we would not fully comprehend what God is. So, so if... Okay, I will say why you can't bring the example of like the Trinity just now. You see, if God wants to... The closest to, example I could come with is, you know... Before you give me an example, I want H2O to understand... H2O is... can be in water, ice, or steam. It's all still H2O, but two, three totally separate entities. Ice is hard, gas, water, still H2O. Okay. Why H2O? I, I don't want you to commit any blasphemy, making images of God in earth or in heaven, right? This is something that's... He knows... He knows isn't that that's for, he forbidden? Knows what I'm trying to Isn't that forbidden? What's that? You shouldn't make any graven images or any kind about God. So you are comparing God is like this, creating an image of God which is not what God... God is God the way he describes himself. Has he described it that way? <laughs> Through his word. No, no. There is nothing in his words yes. that God described himself like water, ice, or steam, oh, is has it? He? No, of course right. not. Right. So you should describe God. Don't you think it's safe to describe God as God has described himself? Uh, that's what I'm trying to do, but right. you won't accept that. You're, no, you're no, 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 no. You have, you have, example, you have like, given me an example which God hasn't described in your scripture. Yes. What I'm saying is very simple to understand. God communicates to us because he wants to communicate about something about himself, about this reality or the reality to come after, right? right? Do you think God is a good communicator? Right. So whatever God communicates, we can understand. So would God communicate anything that is not anyone can understand? So that no one can understand? Then where does faith come? No, I think you no, this is not why you're asking. No, but, no, but about the communication. God did not put something in the Bible and say, one, two, three, X, Y, Z, there you go. Because there's some mystery to it. You see, he wants us to, to study it. He wants us to study the Old Testament, the New Testament, and how Jesus is revealed in the New Testament from the writings of the Old Testament. But I think you've missed my point with due respect. It's faith. Do respect with my point. If God is going to communicate, He's going to make it in a way that we will understand. Yep. If no one understands, then there was no purpose of communicating. For let me give you an example. I'm going to communicate to you about something about something, right? Yep. Oh, I agree. I agree. Good point. Okay. Tell me what I've communicated to you. Have I been successful in communicating what I wanted to communicate to you? Yes. Yes, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so if 
I tried communicating to you and you understood nothing. It's a failure in communication. Think about how Jesus please, 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 spoke to wait. so many people. He spoke in parables. No, no, right? different. He did. He wasn't no, no, no. clear. He didn't say one, two, three. He gave pictures. He told stories. That's we will talk about the. He also said he had a god as well just to touch sorry he also said he had a god in john's gospel he says i'm returning to your father my father your god and my god so jesus had a god therefore he was not god if there's one god you don't have to believe it i do no no i'm just reporting to you what jesus you're asking, said your question was no. the reason so, the reason why i say the mystery because, god okay. because i truly believe who okay. jesus christ but is. the reason why i say the mystery card here it's not really something that we should use or play. It's because when we go before the time of Jesus Christ, what did there was the no time before the Jesus Christ? While he was on earth. Oh, while he was on earth. Right. So there were prophets and messengers raised by God to convey the message of God to mankind, right? God himself raised prophets and messengers. Did he tell to any of those prophets and messengers, I am a Trinity, that I am three in one? Or rather, he said, I am God and there is none else. Before me, there is no God form. After me, there is no God. I alone am God and there is none else. What did he say? Which one? Okay, so let me just, because we're debating over the Trinity, right? So where does, if we have God the Father, where does the Holy Spirit come? What is the Holy Spirit? Let's, let's go one step at a time, because instead of engaging with the subject at hand you want to I no, no, no. debate about Jesus we're not we're not debating we're just, just simply say saying if we find before Jesus the man the prophet peace be upon him who was walking on this earth and conveying the message of God to the people there are a series of prophets and messengers beforehand if they are indeed from God and God communicated to them about himself. They all said and exactly what if, would happen. Isaiah okay. said exactly did what they, would happen to Jesus. Did they ever he, tell the people, God is a trinity? Did they tell the people, like for example, Abraham and Moses? Did they say, peace be upon these prophets, that God is a trinity? No. no they didn't say if God was a trinity, you'd expect them to say that, right? Yes. Not necessarily. Okay. If because God, I don't, I think okay. It, if God is one, comes okay. If God is one, do you expect God to convey that message that He's one? You said earlier how we don't understand. No, my friend, please, God. please. Just one point to understand. If God is one, yes. rather than two three hundred sixty million, yes. would you expect God to convey this message that I am one? Yes, He, he says. Would you expect that yes. God should convey that to you? Or have no other God than me. Yes. So if clear. God is one, he should tell you that he's one. Yes? If God is two, do you expect that he should tell you that God is two? I don't think he's two. I no, 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 no. I, I if, believe in if, one God. If he was two. Three persons, one God. Let's try to understand. If God was two, if he yes. were two gods, yes. you would expect God to convey to you that we are two gods. Right? Right. right. If God is a trinity, you would expect likewise God to convey to you that I am a trinity. I think it's all through the Bible. Now, which prophet said God is a trinity? And so you have Isaiah, well, you have said, Jeremiah, you have nobody, Micah, nobody you, have, you have a whole, you have dozens and dozens this is, of prophets. This is what you, you have expect. to take the entire Bible in no, context. Take the whole of the Old Testament, yes. the Tanakh, yes. the Torah, the Nabiim, the Kitubin, the, the, the Torah, the prophets, and the books, right? Writings. Take all of them. Which of the prophets told their respective people that God is a trinity? None. Or, did you, or maybe you know. None, where, right? None. Where, did you where, say none? Where was it? No, you would expect every single one of them to say God is a trinity if he was a trinity. I may expect it. No, 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 no. no. God and how he wants to communicate to his people and how he wants to show and reveal his son. You agreed so earlier on if God is one. It was so easy. Okay. Then Do you then also believe, accept right? that God, if he expect, expects us to worship him, he should tell us plainly that you should worship me? Do you expect that? He does tell us. Right. To, to so if you look in the Old Testament, does God anywhere in the Old Testament mentions that you should worship me? All through it, yeah. All through that it. should worship him, yes. All through it. This is what we expect, right? Right. Right. Do you believe Jesus is God expecting our worship? Yes. Can you find a verse 
even one throughout the whole of the entire New Testament where Jesus makes it clear that we should worship me? My special Muslim Bible. You wouldn't find any. You would not find any. I'm not just making this claim, it's a fact of reality. Can, can, can I just make a footnote to that? Jesus was asked in Mark's Gospel, what is the greatest commandment? And he repeat, repeated the Shema, this is the three times a day creed, if you like, that Jews recite even to Trinitarianism, I would say. Unless you can show me where Jesus taught the Trinity, then perhaps I will change my mind. So, would you like to have my Muslim Bible too? No, it's not a Muslim Bible. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. I mean, if you, if you mm. think about put Jesus Christ in a historical context. He was walking and talking to people. What were the people believing about him? What did the people think he, who he was? Did the people think, ah, oh, God is on earth, let's worship him? Or did they instead think, wow, a prophet has arrived among us, doing wonderful miracles. Is it I, I don't agree. What he said, well, we know it. In Mark's Gospel, Jesus asked Peter, who do people say that I am? Mm. And Peter says, some say you're this, some say you're that. Who do you, Peter, mm. say that I am? Very interesting answer that Jesus gave, and I agree with Jesus. That Peter gave? I, that Peter gave, sorry. Peter says, you are the Christ. And that's exactly what the Quran says, what Muhammad taught, what Jesus himself. He did not say, interestingly, I am the second person of the Trinity, or I am God incarnate, or worship me, I am Yahweh, I am this, I am that. So no, do you I am that the Jesus Messiah. Is the Christ? Yes. This is Absolutely. the teaching of the Quran. Every Muslim has to believe in it. So we agree with Jesus that he is a come. We don't. And he Jesus, is the way and the truth and the life, and no one can come to the Father except through him. When he was that? at that, when he was at his time, he was the only way because a messenger and prophet, when they come to a community so God or their nation, his mind later with Muhammad. No. Let's understand this point clearly. When Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, on the defense of the whole time. No, so, no, no, no. Yeah, question. You just asked a question about: you, Is he a way? Bringing up people, things no, no, in the no, no. Bible. My saying, friend, my friend, challenge me. With, so with, with all Jesus respect to Jesus, is the way and the no, truth no, no, no. and the life, okay. and no one can come to the Father except through Him. Can, can, can I ask that? Can I ask that directly? Right? Can I ask that directly? Quit pulling things out and, uh, and trying to say, I, "Oh, what can about that? What about that?" Can I ask that directly? Answer that question. We are. I want him to answer. Okay. I don't mean the point. As I said, as I. Said, I said, What's wrong with me? I can answer. I that said, question. Don't, I don't mean to. Okay, okay. So, if somebody is claiming to be the way, the truth, and life, and yes. no one can go to someone except through them, then in the context of prophethood and messengership, that statement is correct. correct. Because if you want to go to God, remember, he didn't say if you want to come to me as God. He says, he will give eternal life. Wait, wait, Jesus wait, wait, said wait. he will give eternal life. That's what, you... that's what the prophets are giving to people, eternal life from God. So Jesus Christ is saying he is a prophet and a messenger of God. If you want to go to God, you have to go through him. So that's why I wanted to Not give you an any other prophet. Only no, no, him. that's why I want to bring an example. He's the only way. Before Jesus was on this earth, peace be upon Jesus Christ, son of Miriam. Moses, one of the mighty messengers of God, was made into a prophet of God, right? A messenger. When he was there with his community, with his people, there were people who believed in God beforehand, of, in some kind, right? Yeah. Do you think people at his time, they would have salvation if they did not go through Moses, except only through him? Or they have to go through him only. He's the only way to God at that time. Wasn't Moses the only way to God at that time? Yeah. He has to be, because he is now God's right. spokesperson on earth, the latest, who brings you clarification of the message that has gone by, maybe perhaps corrupted, or new messages that he may have bring, new laws and regulations that he may bring. So he is to be followed. He is the only way to God at that time. So every prophet and every messenger is the way, the life, the truth. And no one can yeah. go to God except through them. So when Jesus came, if the Jewish people said, but I don't think Moses ever said that. Please, please, it, you don't Moses have to say it. Said, you know, it's not necessary that you say it. No, but Jesus but, did say. But what I'm saying it's is very this. Definitive. Now, now try to understand like this point. I'm, Imagine now, I am a follower of Moses. I'm a Jew, and yes. you come along with the message of Jesus Christ. At that time, you were Jesus Christ, yes. and I said, no, no, thank you. I'm okay with my um, prophet Moses. Would I have salvation? Do you think I'm going to go to heaven, or do I need to now take into account? who Jesus is from God. Oh, I'm okay with Moses, that's it, I don't need you. 
Well, it, it wasn't finished at that point. It was finished no. on the so, cross. So now you realize, Jesus even died, though, so you knew, was rose. so you realize, even though as, as a I Jew, as either, a Jew, right? I have to we now, believe that Jesus died on please, the cross, please, right? we don't Jesus. want to talk about so many subjects at once. And I'd like to say sure. one little I'd thing. Say, yeah, I'd okay. like to say one little thing. thing. I've Going. really enjoyed this. I enjoyed What's your name, by the way? My name is Greg. I'm Paul. Greg, nice talking to you. Nice, nice, nice talking nice to, to you, Greg. What's the point I you want to make really anyway? Very quickly. Is that okay? Conversations too. We all need to work together. Yes. Yeah. This is, I'd like to share with you the words of Jesus. Yes. After Jesus had spoken these words, he looked up to heaven and said, And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Jesus was the way and the truth to God. And he, he refers to someone else, that they may know you, so Jesus the speaking, only the only God. true God, mm -hmm. and Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. whom you have sent. This is pure Islam. Pure Islam. Because Jesus and God are separate. Take care. Nice to see you, mate. Jesus is the way and the truth of life. No one can come it's to a God. except through it's a God. Him. At his time. <laughs> <laughs> At his time. <laughs> prophet Muhammad Islam, being the final prophet and messenger, he is the one that we should all go through. No one can go to why God is that? Because except... Because he sent as a mercy to all of the world, yes. not just to, not just to any, any Arab community Jesus or any other community. Jesus only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Exactly. It says that in Matthew 15. Yeah. Muhammad never said that. He said, I've been sent as a mercy to all mankind. And that's a big difference between the two. Absolutely. So we invite everyone to come to the same message of all the prophets and messengers. The message of worshipping God alone. The God of Abraham, Jacob, Solomon, Moses, Jesus, God of Muhammad. Peace be upon them all. This, in this lies the true salvation.